I joined six days after I turned 17. I, I went in the Navy because I didn't want to be drafted into the Army. And the first place they sent me after boot camp was Texas, Kingsville. <laughs> so I ended up marching around the desert as I didn't want to do for two years. And then I got transferred over to an aircraft carrier. It was the USS Ticonderoga. I was a blue shirt on the flight deck. Uh, my job was to just be around them, try not to get blown off the flight deck as they turn, try not to get hit with a propeller from the propeller planes. <laughs> and uh, at night it was scary because we only used red lights because otherwise it would blind the pilots. Uh, one day we went to general quarters and they said, this is for real, this is not a drill. <laughs> and so that was the 2nd of August, um, 1964. And this was in the Gulf of Tonkin, near Vietnam. So what happened is one of our destroyers, our destroyer escorts, the Maddox, USS Maddox, was fired on by uh, North Vietnamese PT boats. And uh, so we sent some crusaders over to look at it, and they actually shot up the PT boats and uh, came back. And then uh, President Johnson warned the North Vietnamese <clears throat> don't uh, don't fire on our ships or we'll retaliate. And then on the 4th of August, um, it was very dark, it was very uh, rough seas, and uh, again we went to general quarters, and uh, we launched planes and they went to protect the Maddox and the Turner Joy, two destroyer escorts, R2, R2 escorts. And then uh, when the when our pilots came back, uh, the lead pilot, who was a lieutenant uh, commander, and he said, didn't see anything. We didn't see any enemy. It was dark, so it was hard to see anything, but the only thing they saw was our ships. So it was uh, curious that the next day they ordered us to launch and attack North Vietnam, so we did. At UCLA, when, the, when I was there, the Pentagon Papers came out, uh -huh. and because it was an internal government study, it was the first thing I would believe because a lot of the other things you just don't know. I found out that, uh, you know, a lot of things were hidden from us. And, uh, and over the years we found out, indeed, uh, there was no attack on the 4th of uh, August. That, uh, but President Johnson used that as the basis for the Gulf of Tonkin Resolution which was the basis for the entire Vietnam War. And so I think that's why it's important to be skeptical and to look into these things because a lot of times people try to uh, whoop up war fever and, and it turns out that the basis for it is totally false. Mm -hmm. um, people don't always realize that, that um, sometimes people in the front lines uh, know what's going on and, um, and might become skeptical and, uh, and that uh, as in the case of Vietnam, uh, the whole basis for the war was untrue. Mm -hmm. and, and it was, there was some fog of war but it was, but it was not verified and it could have been and, uh, and it was like a sort of the hasty push of some people to try to get us into a war that, that made us end up in the war. And in fact, McNamara later came out and said, yeah, this was a mistake. And, uh, and he was the guy who was really pushing it mm -hmm. back then. So, you know, lots of people got killed, both on our side and even many more in Vietnam. And uh, lots of money was spent. It, it ruined the economy for a while, and uh, it uh, and just and so many people's lives were just completely upset. Like, you know, all the people whose families of people who were killed over there, you know, had you know, they lost important people to them. Right. So it's good to be skeptical, especially when you're trying to enter into a war. And I feel like that's actually happening right now. That. Uh, I think uh, they're trying to push to get into war with Iran. And I think it's a huge mistake. And, uh, and I think people should be skeptical, so that's why I think it's important. <laughs>